Hello everybody, this is Trina Gilbert back to kick off Group B. Yes, round one for Group B. Starting off with Louse going up against the Naughty Boy Dino Hunter, Jack McSevenar going up against Heady, and Toka Nightmare taking on Pilk. Three exciting matches for you to look forward to, so let's not dilly-dally, let's get on with our first matchup, which as you can see, it's Louse versus Dino Hunter. Hurry, right, in the red corner! For Laos, for our two-time champ, we have the Anki Ceratops. This Anki Ceratops is kind of a staple of Laos, he has used it before in tournaments. I believe he used the Super Anki Ceratops before as well. Seems to like those Taiwanese 5th edition cards that can be used in English, as Anki Ceratops is one of those cards. As it's Al Isosaurus, but anyway, in the blue corner for Dino Wonder, we got a Rajasaurus. Rajasaurus. Well, Alpha Rajasaurus, I should say. Quite an interesting colour for an Alpha Dinosaur, and yes, we saw this guy in the last tournament. I believe um, Zaylos used it in the last tournament, and it feared pretty... Oh, bloody hell, that lag is terrible. Oh, oh the FPS has gone down the toilet. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. But that's what I expect from... Oh my god, what, what are you lagging for? Like, I'm... Oh my goodness, that's horrific. I, I'm sorry about that. I, I think I know why it's doing this. It's because I'm in the middle of processing Primal Carnage video, and that's probably taking up all my computer's power. So yeah, sorry about that. Can't be helped, because I want to get stuck in this tournament. I don't sit around and wait, I get stuck in there. You don't have to wait ten weeks for me to start. But anyway, back to the match, back to the match. Last bomb top early on, getting off another hit. Here comes another tie bomb. Dino Hunter, one of those naughty toddlers that broke me rules and received the points deduction because of it. So it's going to be very, very tough for him to get out of the group. And well, the last person you'd want to play first when you're in that situation is a two-time champion in Laos. Although, hasn't quite happened for Laos in recent, recent tournaments. Although he has gone really deep in the tournament and I fully expect him to go deep again into this in this tournament. And well, on this display, Laos is going to clean out a 1-0 lead, and the Anki Ceratops is relatively unscathed. But, as for Dino and the second Dino, we have a Sorolophus. This Sorolophus does pack a punch, so it could be what Dino Hunter needs to get back in this match. Yeah, for some reason, I think I've mentioned it before, but the fire dinosaurs in particular seem to lag the emulator. And sometimes the water dinosaurs as well. Any of the other dinosaurs are not too bad. Well, pretty solid. Oh, that's a tie. Two platoon crush getting triggered there. The ties do favour the anti ceratops because of his charge type. Oh, a dino and a finally getting his first hit of the match. It won't do much damage. Oh, the counter blitz has been triggered. As the Lillian Cure comes in there, healing up the Sorolophus a tad bit. Oh, look at all the energy from the anti ceratops now. Well, Laos is guaranteed to deal damage no matter what. And it's a counter blitz. I, I find counter blitz really underrated in my opinion. I, I, it, is it just me? I, I just find it heavily underrated in my opinion. You don't talk much about it. Usually when it, when it comes to those type of moves, you just talk about, well, death fire. Oh, here comes a two platoon crush. Could this be what Dino Hunter needs to get back in the match? Well, put it this way, if Dino Hunter loses this match, that hill will, to climb will be pretty much a mountain. Decent- oh! <laughs> the two sauropods just disappeared! But there's counter blitz again. Now, what Dino Hunter needs here is a tie, because a tie will kill anti -ceratops. Oh, it's a counter blitz again! anti -ceratops cleaning house so far, looking mightily impressive. I'm watching the bottom of my screen, Me getting, re getting ready to close buddy video editor so I can so I can get focus on doing this. Oh my god, that's a right pick. Well, Sorolophus getting the hit, Anki Ceratops finally biting the big one. However, as for Laos second dino, we have the hugely popular Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Honestly, I might just ban this guy from my future tournaments. Eh? It's so—it's quite common.
villain in this tournament, actually. And I blame Ultimate Dino King for it. <laughs> but yes, this one, unlike Ultimate Dino King, actually has fire moves. Although, Dino Hunter's third Dino is a water dinosaur, so... Louse, not home and yet. Oh, the Sorolophus does get a hit. Dino Hunter, slowly but surely, clawing his way back in the match. Well, pretty much has got back in the match. Oh, that's a tie. I'd probably say Spy's favour the Sorolophus. Yeah, this Sorolophus is revival type, so if it dies in a tie, it gets to come back once. Laos still holds a narrow lead, but Dino Hunter has clawed his way back. Ooh, and I think has now just taken the lead. Well, any point, any result here would be a good result for Dino Hunter. Just to get points on the board. Well, just to get less minus points, I should say. Oh, there's two platoon crush again. The Alpha Acro is pretty much dead. Whee! Let's see if they disappear again. Oh, they didn't disappear that time. Okay, as for Laos's third dino, we have a Ferrazinosaurus. Laos had quite a big lead at the start of this matchup, but Dino Hunter has definitely come back strong. However, this fairy is not to be trifled with, as we all know how overpowered fairies are in dinosaur games. Just pick, just say the aisle, for example. Oh, that's a tie. Ties favour Dino Hunter now. Ooh, a much needed crit from the fairy. And yes, Sorolophus is gone down, but it definitely pulled its weight there. Alright then, as for Dino Hunter's third Dino, I'm sure I mentioned it earlier, we have the Isosaurus. The resilience of the Isosaurus could be key here. Although, unlike last time, it's, instead of using Ocean Panic and Aqua Javelin on a dinosaur with zero technique, he's gone with Hydro Cutter. And a bit of elemental power, so he's definitely gone for more resilience. And some and recovery as well, although I'm not convinced by recovery if I'm honest. Oh, I could be costly. It's the claw blade. Big damage coming Isosaurus's way. Oh yeah, look at that. Although not that much damage dealt, and the hydro cutter has been triggered. Well we might find out how much recovery heals now. Oh the fairy getting the hit is a softening beam. This has actually been a pretty good match so far. Dino Hunter has put up a good fight here, but I think Laos is about to win. Yep, that's game over for Dino Hunter. Laos claiming an opening round win to get to kickstart his campaign. Boosh! Yep, the Isosaur is biting the big one there. The Therizinosaur is doing the job for Laos, as he claims the, his first three points of this tournament. As for Dino Hunter, well, that hill has just become a mountain. Of course, I didn't really fancy his chances, to be honest, in this matchup. But yeah, that's enough about this matchup. Let's move on to our second matchup of this video, which sees Hedy taking on Jack McSevener. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Jack McSevener, we have a Ceratosaurus. A Super Ceratosaurus, I might point out. Um, this will be interesting to see, the Awaker mode on too. And yes, I have notes of everyone of all the Super Dinos now, so I don't need to go on word in case I forget. So, yes, it's Awaker mode on too. However, it will be tough for the Super Serato because in the blue corner for Henny the Eddie, we have a Tyrannosaurus. This Tyrannosaurus, all fire moves, could be one, could be an intriguing match at this. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if the Magma Blaster does the same damage as the Paper Room. Yes. I, I, I don't know who's going to win this match. I, I think Hedy might just edge it, but I'm looking forward to what will hopefully be a really good matchup. Well, you're going to start like that. I think Hedy's going to win this match. 
Look at that, a crit right off the bat. Couldn't have asked for a better start. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, well, Ceratosaurus is gone. That was quick, wasn't it? Ceratosaurus, quick as the wind, dispatched by the T-Rex. Okay then, as for Jack's second dino, we have an Ampelosaurus, and this Ampelosaurus will fare better than the Serato did, because it does have a type advantage over that T-Rex. And he's going to need it to get back in the match. Ampelosaurus. I actually like that there's a colour for Ampelosaurus. But if T-Rex does still pack a punch if it gets off a crit, just won't pack as much of a punch. Oh, that's a tie. The T-Rex won't mind that as much. Chip away at Amplosaurus's health. And the T-Rex is getting off another hit. Yeah, but look at that. Oh, it's a volcano burst. I think this Volk burst will do more damage. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, you can see the type advantage there that Amplosaurus has. Oh, the T-Rex getting off another hit. But yep, yeah, Heddy's looking really strong. Aqua Vortex being triggered there. Oh, what have we got this time? Here's another Volcano Burst. Heddy completely on top in this match and completely dominant. Oh my god, this T-Rex is cleaning house. Okay, no Volk Burst or Flare Sword this time. Well, the type advantage is only good if you get the hits, and Ampelosaurus has not got a hit. Well, this should be interesting, because as for Jack's third dino, we have a Super Therizinosaurus. And the Awaken mode is on one, so yeah, this is going to be very interesting. And the way this matchup has gone, I think Heady's going to win 3-0. I hope that doesn't happen, to be honest, but we'll just have to see. It's up to the random number generator, isn't it? Hey, Heddy finally got a hit! Well, let's have a look. Here we go. Oh, wait, good guy. Oh, it's a tie. Heddy won't mind that. Oh, oh, and of course the T-Rex gets the hit. So the Awaken mode was wasted, and look at that, half the health gone, and if T-Rex gets another hit, Heady is going to win. Another tie. Ooh, the T-Rex finally going down. It's a Chlor Impaler. Can't. Well, this will be one hell of a comeback. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. But anyway, as for Heady's second dino, we have a Spinosaurus. Well, we saw what Spinosaurus did in the last video, but this Spinosaurus actually has water moves. Well, well, it, 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 I don't think it's going to matter at this point. I mean, two hits or hell, even one, and Heady's going to win. And based on this matchup so far, I'm about 99%... 90% convinced that Heddy is going to get another hit off in this match. Well, there's a tie. Yep, and there's a hit, and that is Super Therizinosaurus down, and yeah. Well, that was disappointing from Jack Bear, but the Heddy completely dominant and getting a bonus point win to kickstart this campaign. And he will be going top of Group B. Just, well, just for now, he could be replaced. But, oh, could have been a 3-0 win there. Could have been a 3-0 win. As for Jack McSevenar, he's going to have to sharpen up if he wants to stay in this tournament. Because the competition is not going to get easier. Right, on to our final matchup of this session. And that we'll see... Toka Nightmare taking on Pilk. Alrighty then, in the red corner for our, for our Tota Nightmare, we have an Alpha Rajasaurus. Tota Nightmare had an absolute nightmare in my last tournament, hoping to do better this time. And to be honest, I hope they do better as well. 
I'm intrigued to see whether this Alpha Rajasaurus will go off any heat eruptions. But anyway, in the blue corner, we have Toka's nemesis, the Lexovasaurus. I only say that because this Lexovasaurus was responsible for one-shotting one of Toka's dinosaurs in the last tournament. And it does have the Quake Saber and it is lethal type, so it could one-shot one of Toka's dinos again. Ooh, not likely though. Good start from Toka getting off the opening crit. And the poison. And the Tybon. And well, no no flare sword, but that doesn't really surprise me. Because <laughs> Toka never gets it off. Ooh, Lexovasaurus getting off a hit though. Won't do much damage, but there's the attack boost. But look at that poison there. Loads of damage. And yet, I think Lexovasaurus is dead. The Alpha Radrosaurus getting off another hit. Yep. Quick as a wink, Lexovasaurus dispatch and Toka gets some bitter payback on its, on its nemesis. And Toka will have the type advantage now because, as for Pilk's second dino, we have a Destructor Spondylus. Toka does have a good lead here and could easily extend it because of, as I said, the type advantage. So I think Pilk's gonna have to dig deep here if he wants to take out this Radrosaurus without losing his Strepto Spondylus. Oh, it's not good for Pilk. Although it's not a fire move, so normal damage will be dealt. Oh, that's a tie. The tie bomb going off there. You struck the spondless, damaged already. Another tie. The Rajasaurus is losing health. But Pilk, can Pilk even secure a hit in this match? Well, you struck the spondless is gone, and the Rajasaurus has given Toka Nightmare a 2-0 lead. Pilk is in big trouble here. However, a saving grace is that his third dino is Ampelosaurus. And it will have the type advantage over that Rajasaurus. So, Pilk not dead and buried yet. I, I'm not counting. I wouldn't count Pilk out yet. I think there's still, there's still ways to go in this matchup. It's still turning around. Well, he needs to get a hit first, as we saw in the last matchup with the other Amplosaurus, he didn't get a hit. But yeah, look at that, there's the type advantage, there's the tie bomb. Hey, Pilk finally got a hit! The Amplosaurus finally give, given Pilk a hit. And a light recovery to heal up its health as well. Oh, oh, no, Rajasaurus getting its hit back, though. But, yeah, not much damage dealt, so it's not too disastrous. Ooh, the Rajasaurus finally going down. Ampelosaurus taking it out. Took a nightmare down to two dinos. And Pilk, could they come back into this? Okay, as for Toka's second dino, we have a Super Lillian Sternus. Now, this Super Lillian Sternus is, has a bit of fragility to it, so Pilk's not out of the wood, not dead and buried yet. And if Toka, can, if Toka fails getting off the hit in the awaken mode, it could still be up for grabs. I mean, make no mistake, Toka still has a sizable lead, and I suspect we'll probably go on to win this match, but you never know, you never know. We've seen this situation before. Oh, crap, though. We'll do damage to the Ampelosaurus. Okay, that's twice. Okay, that's one more for the Awaken mode. Ooh, that's a tie. Tie attack coming from the Ampelosaurus there. Oh, but another hit from Lillian Sternus, I think. Yep, this. What is this? Okay, that's pretty much gonna win it for Token Nightmare. It's awakening time. 
Oh, for goodness sake. Like, how am I supposed to take a screenshot like that? <laughs> oh, I tell you what. Ampelosaurus getting the hit. Pilt not going down without a fight. Boosh. Wait, where's the light recovery? Oh, may oh maybe it maxed out. Must have maxed out. Oh, nope, never mind. Lillian Sturness wins it for Toka. A bonus point win for Toka to kickstart their tournament. I don't think they have, I don't think they got a single bonus point win in my last tournament. So things are already looking up for Toka this time round. As they will, well, go joint top with Heady on Group B. Ooh, some intriguing matches there. Some quite one-sided ones. Some impressive wins from our combatants. So yeah, let's have a look at the table thingy and then the session. Well, Group B looking quite interesting already. You've got two, you've got the two bonus point wins there, secured by Toka Nightmare and Heady. Louse been third, getting an opening round win. And then you've got Pilt and Jack still yet to get off the mark there. And then we have poor Dino Hunter at the bottom with minus four. So yeah, look at that. Let's have a look at round two's matches real quick. So it'll be three versus, oh, look at this, a clash at the top here for round two. Heady against Toka. And then Laos will take on Pilk. And then I'd say a big game at the bottom here between Jack McSeverinar and Dino Hunter. But again, that's going to be a while yet. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any more tournament matches in the future. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. <laughs>